Hey y'all, Jay here from Jay's Decor and Restore, and I have another cute idea for the holidays. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this cute little wooden sign to hang your stockings. And it's so easy, you don't even need a Cricut machine, you don't need stencils. I'm gonna show you how to do it using just a simple printer. It cost me about $7. That's including the wood that I bought at uh, Hobby Lobby. So let's go ahead and get started. For this project, you're going to need some uh, plank of wood or a, a uh, unfinished wood uh, piece. I bought this for uh, $4.99 at Hobby Lobby and I had a 40% coupon. You're going to need some knobs. Um, I bought the pack of four knobs at Hobby Lobby again for $1.99 and had a coupon for that as well. Some googly eyes for the reindeer and I have some brown paint I'm going to use to paint the reindeer face and then I'm going to use the white paint to paint the board and you'll need a couple of um, paint brushes. I also uh, am going to be using some red paint, which I forgot to add here, and that's gonna be for the nose. So I simply started by painting the piece, the wood piece white, just using one layer to give it more of that farmhouse look. Now we're gonna be doing this project using a simple printer, and you're gonna need some freezer paper. Um, and it's really an easy way to transfer a picture from your printer to um, whatever it is you're trying to create. In this case, we're gonna transfer it onto the wood. So you're gonna take your freezer paper, shiny side up, um, and you're going to lay it on top of the paper. Now, I would recommend printing out a template just so that you can size it correctly. And here, I'm just simply taking, I flipped over the paper and added a little bit of glue on the corners so that I can um, add it to the paper to the regular paper and this way it won't jam up your printer it's just going to stay flat on that paper and you just simply lay it on top and this way you know where it's going to print and you make sure you know that it's going to print correctly on the freezer paper now i did find a picture of a reindeer face um, on on my cricut machine but you can actually find it anywhere online and use that as your template and you're simply going to take now your freezer paper and you're going to now feed it into your printer with the shiny side facing out and just hit print and it'll print out now the, uh, the, the picture right onto that freezer paper. So once it's printed, you're going to carefully remove it from your regular paper. Now be careful because it is going to be wet so you don't want it to smudge. I also added a little piece of tape there at the bottom so that um, you know I have a straight line that I can use uh, for the other reindeer so I make sure they're all positioned properly. Then you take a scraper and you simply just very carefully and firmly scrape that on. You can either use a credit card or um, a, um, a Cricut scraper and it'll transfer that ink on. Once you're done scraping the reindeer onto the wood, you're simply gonna remove the freezer paper from there and your ink would have transferred onto your wood. Now it is a little bit faint of, of, an outline, of a uh, silhouette there, but we're gonna go ahead. I, I took a brown marker and I, I outlined it so I can add a little bit more depth to the actual reindeer face. And then from there, you're simply going to use your brown paint and you're gonna paint the inside of your reindeer. Now I'm gonna show you how to use the same method with the freezer paper, um, but you're gonna to have to, uh, to reverse the wording. So you're going to click on insert and then you're going to click on text box and you're going to create a text box with your cursor. Then you click, you simply click inside the box and start typing your words. And then you're going to, if you want to change your font, you're going to need to do it after you actually typed. I'm going to select the font that I typically use for signs like this and I change the font and then increase the size. Now you're gonna click on Shape Format and Format Pane. And then you're gonna click on that little oct octagon shape 
and scroll down to where it says 3D rotation. And the first one, it says X rotation. You're going to um, just click the up button until you, uh, until you get to 180. And now it's reversed your text so that you can print it on your freezer paper and then transfer that onto the wood. So I'm, I'm uh, going, to, going to show you a sample that I did on a piece of wood here because I wanted to try it out before I actually did it on my sign. Using the same method, I just took my scraper and scraped on the, uh, the, uh, the ink and then removed the paper. Now, I wanted it to look a little bit darker, so I took a black felt tip marker and just simply went over each of the letters to darken the ink. Once it's done, it looks great. Now we're ready for the last step. Now I painted the knobs red and, and added some glitter using some Mod Podge. Now I'm going to um, glue the knobs onto the actual reindeer, and that is their nose. And then I'm going to take, I took some E6000, just to make sure that the uh, googly eyes stay on there permanently, and glued them on. I think they're starting to look really adorable. And here's the finished project. I think it turned out so cute and it was all done using a regular printer and some freezer paper. And I added a little bit of Christmas ribbon just to give it a little bit more of a festive look. So I cut off the rope ribbon that was originally hanging on the wood sign. Now I am going to be using this for our doggy stockings. My children have two dogs and of course my adorable little Lexi. So we want to make sure that we share a little bit of Christmas cheer with them. And we're going to provide them with some treats and some toys. Well, thanks for joining. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until the next week's holiday decor, cheers.